trying to go up. That's as much as you can. It's like far I can go. If she's just used to having it, not putting pressure, so it's not. She hasn't really tried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, she's just used to that. This is definitely helpful. It's been this like Sunday and I haven't walked. You feel it in the back when you're walking? Okay. Okay. So just looking at um, Shelly's x-rays, what I would have expected is um, just based off of her exam and her orthos, that there would have been some sort of ASIN component into this left hip, just because she couldn't move her hip in. But I don't really see that on the x-rays. Of course, we always have to match the x-rays to the patient and make sure that they make sense. I mean, when we look on her on her lateral, I don't actually see a significant posteriority anywhere but she does have a very shallow lumbar curve which would point to an ASIN. I'm here too. So go ahead and try to make this bottom leg straight. Good. And then this one will be as bent as much as you can. Okay. So just relax this leg as much as you can. Is it possible for you to relax this leg? So Shelly's leg was not in the most ideal position for the adjustment, but we have to make do with what we have. If you look at her leg, it's actually beyond 90 degrees, meaning she couldn't bring her leg inwards or adduct her leg. That made it for uh, made for kind of a difficult adjustment, but that's what we had to work with. Every time I lift this up, it was right there. Okay, is that painful too? Not too bad. Yeah. So we need just a little higher than it had. 